Hey, everybody. So I'm going to do something uh, kind of a little bit different here. Um, I wanted to post a quick video of my honorable mentions of toys from 2023. So these are actually just going to be pictures from the toys in my collection for various reasons. They did not make my top 10 list, but I still wanted to mention them as being awesome toys. First, I'm going to start with the Masters of the Universe Origins Snake Mountain. So here it is in my toy room, and I've got to say this is a fantastic toy. Um, absolutely love this thing. The Vintage Snake Mountain was one of my favorite toys as a very little kid. Um, I actually played with it more with my Thundercats. Um, I actually had uh, Mumra living in Snake Mountain. When I was a really little kid, I thought that Mumra and Skeletor were brothers, and I kind of thought that He-Man and Thundercats was kind of all happening within the same universe. Um, so I just played with those toys all together. Um, so I never had Castle Grayskull, but I had Cat's Lair. So Cat's Lair was kind of where the good guys hung out, and then Snake Mountain was where the bad guys all were. Um, so this toy, very, very nostalgic for me, and I think they did a fantastic job in Origins recreating and updating this toy. Uh, this probably would have been in the top two or three for me, but it's a little unfair because it's a playset, not an action figure. That's why I'm putting it in the Honorable Mentions video. So sort of going along the same lines here, I have the Origins Screech figure, which is actually perched on top of my Snake Mountain. And this one I'm including as an honorable mention because once again, the vintage Screech toy, I just loved that toy. I would take it with me pretty much everywhere. I remember like actually taking it when we would go out to like restaurants and, and just go out to the park. And I would just flap that thing's wings everywhere I went, and I would just have it fly around everywhere. And it was just one of my favorite toys as a little kid. And um, again, you know, it's more of an accessory. It came with a Skeletor figure, and the Skeletor figure was okay, but it was just kind of a repaint of Skeletor. And I just didn't think that there was enough to this figure to make it in the top 10, but I had to at least mention Screech because I just love this toy and I played with him with He-Man and Thundercats and Ninja Turtles, played with that toy wherever I could when I was little. All right, so uh, next honorable mention is going to be the Masterverse Too Bad figure. Um, so this one is uh, just a fantastic figure. He came with lots of weapons. The sculpting and the detail is really great. Um, I was never a huge fan of Too Bad at all. Uh, never had the vintage figure. I didn't bother getting the, um, you know, the Motu Classics figure. Never really knew much about Too Bad and never really cared about the character at all. But this figure is just awesome. He's, he's big and tall and bulky. Uh, you know, the kind of the metallic paint used on the weapons is great. And um, since there's really no nostalgic connection uh, to this at all, um, I just wanted to include it in the honorable mentions because it's really just a great figure. All right, and then we have the uh, Origins Frogmonger, um, which again, zero nostalgic connection because it was never in the vintage line. This is a brand, brand new character that they created and had up on Mattel Creations. And it's just a really fun figure. I love, you know, uh, you know, amphibious reptilian creature figures. Um, you know, I think he's probably going to look really, really great alongside the, um, you know, Motu TMNT crossover figures. Because um, just the colors, the green and yellow is very vibrant on this figure. Um, I actually uh, did buy three of this figure, uh, one to keep on card. Uh, one to obviously have loose, and then one to use for customizing. Um, so yeah, this is just a really, really great figure, and I wanted to mention him because I had a lot of fun uh, just posing this figure, and again, just kind of customizing it, using it for parts. Uh, it's just a really great figure. 
All right, moving over to Power Rangers. I just wanted to mention um, probably one of my uh, favorite Power Ranger figures of 2023. Um, but it's funny because uh, just not a character I ever really had a connection to. Uh, Power Ranger Turbo is probably one of my uh, least favorite seasons of Power Rangers. Um, but this Blue Centurion figure, the Lightning Collection folks did an absolute bang up fantastic job on this figure uh he has great little accessories the paint the detail all the stoplight motif uh you know the head sculpt is great just this is a really really fantastic figure i almost bought two just to have two uh that's how good this figure is uh it, it just looks neat um, I know a lot of other, um, you know, people who did a review on it who are just going to use it in, you know, other toy lines, you know, people who don't collect Power Rangers, people who don't, you know, have anything to do with Lightning Collection. It's just an awesome figure. I mean, it, it can go alongside like a Robocop figure, uh, Transformers, like, I mean, it's just like a police officer robot guy. And uh, it's a fantastic figure. So I had to mention it here with honorable mentions. Uh, also, Power Rangers Lightning Collection, I wanted to mention the Alien Rangers 5-pack. So I believe this was a Hasbro Pulse and an Amazon exclusive, and they just look great. Um, I kind of wish that they would bring the Lightning Collection back and just kind of do this. I mean, just make everything a team box set Um I really wish they would just do that, honestly. Just if they want to just only have it up on Pulse or only have it as Amazon exclusives, I don't really care. Um, but if we could just get every team completed and just do it the way they did the Alien Rangers, because these came out perfect. Um, you know, the, the details all match. They look fantastic as a team. It allowed us to get the entire team of five Rangers all at once. We didn't have to wait years and years to complete a team. And um, they look great. So uh, I was also very, very close to putting these guys on my top 10 list. But I just didn't want to because, again, it was an exclusive box set. It's really five figures, not just one single figure. So I just wanted to mention these guys because they're awesome. And uh, I wish we could get more of just these complete teams from Hasbro, but uh, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. All right. And then I wanted to include um, a G.I. Joe classified figure. And one of my favorite uh, of uh, G.I. Joe classified of the year is the Arctic Bat. As you can see, I bought three of these. Um, and I this is about the only figure that I bought more than one or two of. Uh, there are a few others that I bought more than that, but, um, you know, just basic troop builders. These are great as troop builders because they come with so many different accessories. You can make them look all different. They come with all kinds of weapons. They come with all kinds of different arm attachments. Uh, they are just absolutely fantastic figures. Um, now, the one on the left there actually has weapons from a different toy line, um, but I just thought that, you know, the the blue and yellow kind of metallic look to those weapons went perfect with uh, the way that I have the bat pose. Uh, if I ever run into any more of these, I will be buying them, but I bought all of these, I think, on Amazon. I think maybe one came from GameStop. Um, but yeah, if I would ever see any of these on a shelf or on a peg, I will buy them because they are just really, really cool figures. Very, very close to, uh, you know, making the top 10 list. But again, there's only so many you can put on a top 10 list. And, uh, you know, these would be very close to maybe number 10, number 11, but they're just in the honorable mention. And then finally, I wanted to include just kind of another different weird oddball figure uh, and this is the NECA creature from the Black Lagoon figure. And it's just really, really well done. Um, you know, multiple head sculpts, a movable mouth. The, the paint detail is incredible. And I just really love this figure. I mean, pretty much as soon as I got it out and kind of started posing it, messing around with it, I thought to myself, wow, I think this is going to make the top 10. And uh, this was actually on my top 10 list uh, pretty much since I caught it. 
and it only just recently got knocked off the list. So I would say, again, this one is really close to being like number 10, number 11. Um, I just kept going back and forth, back and forth. Um, you know, I'll talk a little bit more about it when I post the uh, top 10 list, which will be coming up uh, in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, definitely want to mention this figure. Uh, it was very close to being on the top 10 list, uh, but ended up in the honorable mentions. So there you go. Those are my honorable mentions for 2023. Thanks very much for watching and have a good one.